Uh, today we're not just thinking about hope for ourselves, but hope for those we love. And I want to read you uh, this beautiful poem by uh, Frances Ridley Havergal, who um, her dad was a priest, her brother was a priest, um, and uh, she, she wrote the uh, words of Take My Life and Let It Be, that, that famous hymn, um, but she also wrote a lot of poems. She, she was only 42 when she died in 1879. But this poem is about placing yourself, amazingly, right in the hand of God. And at the same time as we hear this poem, we can place those we love right in the hands of God. They say there is a hollow, safe and still, a point of coolness and repose, within the centre of a flame, where life might dwell, unharmed and unconsumed, as in a luminous shell, which the bright walls of fire enclose in breachless splendour, barrier that no foes could pass at will. There is a point of rest at the great centre of the cyclone's force, a silence at its secret source, a little child might slumber undistressed without the ruffle of one fairy curl in that strange central calm amid the mighty world. So, in the centre of these thoughts of God, cyclones of power consuming glory fire as we fall o'er awed upon our faces and are lifted higher by his great gentleness and carried nigher than unredeemed angels till we stand even in the hollow of his hand nay more we lean upon his breast there there we find a point of perfect rest and glorious safety there we see his thoughts to us were thoughts of peace that stoop to tenderest love that still increase with increase of our need that never change that never fail falter or forget O oh, pity infinite O oh, royal mercy free O oh, gentle climax of the depth and height of God's most precious thoughts most wonderful most strange for I am poor and needy yet, the Lord himself thinketh on me. Oh, what a beautiful poem. What a beautiful poem that at the centre of the storm uh, there is a stillness and a silence. And in the centre of God's heart there is a place for us and a place for those we love. Let us place ourselves and those we love in the hands of God. And if you'd like me um, and colleagues here at Bishop Thorpe, my dear friends, the Sisters of Whitby, to pray for you or those you love, uh, please write in to us. Um, we will find hope together in this new year.